I would like to welcome you all uh, in the second part of this video for the preparation for the company Saxane Technology. So this this video will be useful not only Saxane Technology but for the forthcoming interview also. So in this session, I am going to discuss most expected questions for the interview. So in the first video, part one, uh, if you refer part one, you will get to know the strategy of preparation for the particular interview. So now I'm going to talk about like uh, the second part of the video on the strong preparation for their company, Saxane Technology, that you people can clear the interview without any issues. The first segment is coding. You should good in coding. In the sense, not expertise. At least if you study something, you can clear. I promise you. Right from the beginning, you should know how to reverse the string in place. You can use these methods you can use. Similarly, check whether a string is palindrome or not. So you should know the declaration of variable, then the following code strategy you should know. Basically, you have to show the algorithm. First non-repeating character. Identify the first non-repeating character. You can use frequency mapping, then a linear scan. These are the two methods you can use. Similarly, uh, two sum. You can go for like a hash map. Then a GCD of two numbers. So you can use Euclid. So prepare the algorithm that is enough. Then remove duplicates from the array. So how to keep in order? Like uh, set the list or write the stable filter. So the straight away answer, but you have to elaborate it. Count set bits. You can use Kerny uh, Hans algorithm. Loop is nothing but number of set bits which is available. How to calculate the transpose of a matrix? I mean, how to interchange rows and columns of a matrix? Okay, square only in place. Else extra 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 matrix. This logic you can use it. Similarly, spiral print. Find loop in linked list. So you can use fluid cycle. So these are the simple questions you will be getting the coding section. Coming to C, C++ or Java concept. So you may get a question on volatile use case like memory mapping. You have to talk about like memory mapping. Similarly, dangling pointer. Pointer after free. Avoid with the nulling or smart pointers. Similarly, deep versus shallow copy. What is the major difference between uh, deep copy and shallow copy? You people might have studied in Python also. Similarly, constructor versus copictor. Okay. So, you have to talk about like uh, overload and override in Java and C++ because both are object-oriented programming concept. Thread basics, you can go through that. So these are the like a few few more important questions. Now find GCD of two numbers. So Euclidean algorithm you can use. Study what is Euclidean algorithm. Okay. So you can you you can use this particular algorithm to compute uh, the GCD of two numbers. Then remove duplicates from the array but keep the original one. Use an order set or hash set. Then create the new list. Go for iteration. If unseen. Append to the list. Okay. Then finding the transpose of a matrix, which I discussed for number of rows are n and the number of column is n, n, n cross n swap uh, this particular uh, segment. If you go for this swapping, then de definitely you can go for like a, uh, a transpose. Print a matrix in spiral order. Use the four boundaries top, bottom, left, right, and P layer by layer, adjusting after each row and column, then pass. So at least you can go through for these questions because if your interview date is very nearby, you don't have that much of time. You prepare only this. Reverse a string in place. So you can use the algorithm. Okay. And the swapping. Check if an integer is palindrome or not without any extra space. Convert a string or more optimal. Reverse half of the number numerically. Then compare. Check out for overflow and negative numbers. Based upon that, you will come to know whether the integer is palindrome or not. Find the first non-repeating character in a string. Use the frequency map. It is also known as hash map. To some given array target, return indices of two numbers summing your target. Here also you can use the concept of hash map. So you can check out the textbook or you can use the AA tool to get the details. That is not a problem. 
However, we require optimum answer. At the time of interview, you should be able to speak. Otherwise, if it is an objective type question, you should be able to answer it. What does volatile mean in C or C++ when it is used? Like informs compiler that variable may change outside the program flow. You might have studied about like a local variable and global variable in Python. It is similar almost. Difference between pointer to uh, construct or construct pointer in C or C++. Pointer to construct, uh, you can uh, T star P means uh, like a star P is read only and uh, uh, T star constant P means cannot be changed to the pointer. Uh, like uh, Otherwise, star P can be changed. Explain the dangling pointer and how to avoid it. Or dangling pointer occurs when the pointer refers to memory that, that's freed. Avoid by setting the pointer to null after the free or deletion or use smart pointer C++. So you can go through what is the dangling pointer. The simple meaning is enough. Okay, no need to go in depth. At least a simple meaning is sufficient. Shallow copy and a deep copy. Okay, so shallow copy copies the pointer. Deep copies duplicate the actual data. That's the difference between shallow copy and deep copy. Shallow copy require less memory where the, uh, like a deep copy need more memory. Constructor uh, versus copy constructor. Constructor initialize the new object. Copy construction initialize the object using the another object for the same class. It may ask in the technical round also. Overloading and overriding. Overloading, same method name, different parameters in the same class. Overriding is nothing but derived class provide the specific implementation of base class method. What is a virtual function and a uh, B table? Virtual functions allow runtime polymorphism. Compiler creates the, you know what is polymorphism. Compiler create a V table per class object maintains the VPTR to work, uh, like a V table to resolve the runtime. So these are the basic information. Similarly, process versus thread. Process is nothing but separate memory spaces. Thread is nothing but lighter shared process of memory. Threads have faster context switches that are used for concurrency, simultaneous to occur the things fastly. What is uh, endiness? Byte order in multi byte data. That means big NDM stores most significant bit first, little NDM stores least significant byte first. Important in network protocols, especially might have studied in the computer network. Uh, then explain the stack versus heap. Stack is nothing but automatic memory. Okay. Similarly, uh, the fast and limited. That is a speciality of stack. If I talk about the heap, it is a dynamic memory. You mainly talk about stack is an automatic memory where uh, heap is a dynamic memory. What spot answer you can clear it off. Similarly, UART versus I square C versus SPL. So that difference you have to study. I see uh, then ISR do's and don'ts like a short, no blocking, setting of flag, etc. RTO scheduling method you have to study. ADC resolution, that is very important. In the gate examination also, we can see the particular question. There is an, one equation, V step is nothing but V reference divided by uh, 2 to the power n V, v step. Okay, this equation you have to remember. Debouncing, okay. Uh, it's a, it's also known as software delay. Debouncing. Compare UART, then I square C and SPL. UART is nothing but asynchronous serial, two wire, uh, transmitter receiver, there is no clock, simple point to point. And simple elaboration. I square C means synchronous two wire shared bus. Similarly, users address support multiple services and which is lower. SPH is nothing but sync, like it's a synchronous four plus lines, MISO, MOC, all the other lines will come under here. Okay. Similarly, uh, what should an ISR never do? What is ISR? Interrupt service routine. Avoid long blocking operations. No heavy process. No printf logging, etc. What is priority inver inversion and how does RTOS fix it? Lower priority task holds a like a resource needed by higher priority task, which is blocked by a medium priority task. That point you have to remember. Uh, how does PWM operate? Pulse width modulation works on the duty cycle. Duty cycle is nothing but ratio of on period by total time period. Large uh, large PWM, large duty cycle means the device will turn on long time, longer time. Less duty cycle in the sense, device will turn on shorter time. Okay, duty cycle is directly proportional to on period. So you can use application of PWM, speed control of motor. It can be used to microcontroller. You can use the like uh, temperature variation. Okay, uh, voltage control. Okay, what does ADC resolution means? 
uh, resolution bits that is number of discrete level that is equal to 2 to the power n voltage step size is equal to v reference divided by 2 to the power n this equation is most important what is d bound uh, d bouncing and how it implemented mechanical switches bounce causing noise that is actually called d bouncing use either an rc circuit or software delay with a state sampling to filter out the bounces okay uh, then what is the difference between polling and interrupts polling it's applicable to cpu periodically check the status of the register interrupt is nothing but cpu sleeps until the hardware signals okay uh, so interrupt is more efficient where polling is wasteful tcp versus udp reliability versus latency then process versus thread difference you have to identify uh, yeah, then endinesses impact on protocol okay that you have to remember similarly OSC uh, like uh, OSI versus TCP model uh, with respect to layers you can classify OSC has seven layers TCP has four layers TCP versus UDP TCP is a connection oriented UDP is connectionless what is the uh, like uh, semaphore versus mutex semaphore is nothing but signaling mechanism Mutex is nothing but mutual exclusion. Kindly refer uh, network security, network security topic and a computer networks. Similarly, what causes context switching in operating system? Switch between thread or process when the scheduler pick a new task. Okay, remember these questions. What is deadlock? State the conditions. Deadlock occurs when the process wait indefinitely. That is what deadlock occurs. Explain the sockets and the role networking. So you should have a good idea about computer networks. Endpoint for like a sending, receiving data across the network is called like a, a importance of networking. Then another one is actually aptitude. You, you have to study like a time and work. Both are inversely proportional. Uh, if A takes six hours to do a job, B takes nine hours, how long they will do together? Work done by A is equal to because one by six is both are inverse. Work and time is inversely proportional. B, you can calculate 1 by 9. Combine means it will be like 5 by 18. Time means again you have to replicate it. You have to reverse it. It will be 3.6 hours. Very, very important. One of the evergreen question. Kindly uh, do revise it frequently. Try to solve similar kind of problem. Yes, uh, A sells on item rupees 480 with a 20 percent profit. What is the cost? So cost will be like uh, the 480. From this you can calculate. C value you can calculate. Okay. Uh, average of 5 number is 60, sum you have to calculate. So, sum is nothing but average into count. A train covers 120 kilometers in 2 hours at a constant speed. How long for 300 kilometers? So, you, you need to know the relation between speed and distance. That's all. Then you can con convert it into very easily. Uh, 8 people can build a wall 10 days. How many days for 5 people? Anyway, you should know the relation between work and time. Work is equal to 80 persons. 5 people, that means 80 by 5. That is equal to 16 days. For You, you should know the basics of mathematics. That's all. Blood relation. Pointing out a man, a man, a woman says that his brother's son, father is my father. How is the man related to that? Better you can mark the chart. One chart you have to prepare. Relation chart. Based upon that, you can identify. The answer is brother. Okay. Okay. So, the man is her brother. You, have, you can mention. You can uh, prepare the chart accordingly. You can identify very easily. But don't take more time. Table shows the sales versus and four quarters. What is the average quarters on the... You have to refer the table. Okay. And uh, based upon that, uh, this question will be like uh, your analysis. How you are going to analysis? Because it is required. Because uh, in the business aspects, uh, you should know you, you should know the data analytics skill. This, that, that's what they are checking, the data analytics skill. Regarding the HR round, remember HR round is a selection round. Once you clear the technical round, confirm your selection. So don't say anything about negative. You, you, you have to speak up everything positively. First of all, tell me something about yourself. You spend only 45 to 60 seconds. Mainly focus on your current skills, project, and what is the reason why you are choosing uh, Suskain. So another question you may get, why Suskain? What is the reason for joining? Okay, that also you can justify yourself. I want to become as a product engineer in the embedded system or IoT or AAML because if you are belong to ECE, go ahead with the embedded systems. Correct. Sixth semester, you might have studied the embedded basics of embedded system. Kindly go through it because if you say that uh, my area is an embedded system, you may have to get answer few more questions on embedded system. Similarly, tell me something about yourself. Talk about educational background, key project skills, embedded software, etc. Why do you want to join Suskain? Suskain works in embedded systems. Uh, which is close, which is correlated to my domain. So I can do something better in 
uh, sustain if I uh, I have some knowledge on uh, embedded systems. So same thing, I can incorporate it in the company and I can do better so that it will be helpful for my career improvement as well as company perspectives. Describe strength and weakness. So don't uh, like uh, the thing like uh, ill reasons, especially about the weakness. I clean modular SQL document if I help to reduce bugs by sex percentage. Weakness. Sometimes I over refine my code, correcting it by setting strict time limits and focused on review. So this is one of the uh, weakness, but that weakness will be indirectly saying that you are really workaholic in the sense you are very passionate on the work. That's what. Don't uh, say about any kind of ill reasons that you are not in the set, you are sleepy, you are lazy. Don't say. We have to say that uh, you are passionate about the work, but you consume more time and uh, energy for completing the work. Still, you will try for upgrade. So that what that's what you are really work oriented. Okay, that's what they, they are expecting. They wanted the people those who are really work oriented and passionate. Tell us about the challenging bug you fix. You can give in any one of the example. One of that sample is given for you. Where do you see yourself after five years? You have to talk about your long-term goal. You have to talk about the short-term and long-term goal. Do you have any question for us? Uh, so normally they will ask this question. In case they haven't asked it, you only have to raise a question. Sir, madam, I have one query. Could you please address? Is it a right time to speak with this particular query? You can directly ask so that they will come to know that this particular candidate is well suited for the company. Suppose if he conduct a meeting, he will only like uh, raising a question and he wanted to uh, give a suitable readdress. So such kind of candidates are badly required for the company. So basically, uh, the, uh, if you prepare, because it's a last minute uh, preparation strategy, I uh, will shortly say some questions. Yeah, there are a few more questions I wanted to make it in the third session. Okay, For the time being, what you can do, uh, whatever I discussed, you, are, you can do the research on it, elaborate it, prepare a brief note and appear for the interview. So in the aptitude, like uh, you may get uh, like uh, some uh, general type of questions like uh, time and work, speed, distance, syllogisms, uh, data analysis, coding, like uh, uh, basic coding questions, uh, first non-repeating character, identify, develop a program on identifying the first non-repeating character, C or C++, you'll be getting like a volatile usage. Similarly, embedded system, what is uh, ISR? Similarly, or, or like operating system or computer network or networking, the difference between TCP and the UDP. Okay, you should know the basics because you have to know down everything. If you don't know, kindly study the keyword. That is very, very important because those keywords are used for the company. So they want to test your basic knowledge. So if you did not study it, you please make a note and separately you try to uh, reverse it. Try to revise, revise it. So tell me something about is the most commonly asked questions in the human resource management. HR questions. Okay, HR question is nothing but it's a selection round only. Don't think it negatively. So speak positively. Whatever it may be, if they speak negative also, you try to speak positively. So they will check your attitude and uh, whether uh, your personality. So thank, thank you very much for watching this video. Request you to subscribe our channel if you need a similar kind of video. Give a like button if you please the video. Also, if the video is suitable, kindly share with the stakeholders those who are preparing for campus placements. I wish you all the very best. Crack the interview. And let me know whether you cracked the interview or not. What was your experience? Kindly share in the comment box. I'm eagerly waiting for your reply. Happy learning. Wish you all the very best for your examination. Uh, do well for placement, right?